What a crazy past two months it's been. From getting called up to the World Cup, to playing in the World Cup, to winning the World Cup. We're finally back home in Germany, and it, it feels like a blur. The past two months have flown by, but it's finally time to sit back and relax here, boys. We have some time off for the first time in a long time, but not too much time, because soon it will be time for us to decide where we'll be playing come next season. Going into this offseason, my ultimate goal was to return to Bayern Munich. But with rumors swirling that me being loaned out might be the best option, I started to take that into consideration. If I'm not going to play once again at Bayern Munich this year, why would I stay? So I've been looking into offers, loan offers, transfer offers. I'm just trying to seek out my best option at this point. And the journey has taken me to Manchester. And doesn't necessarily mean we're going to sign with the Manchester team, but we're here to see offers. Ultimately, my goal is Barcelona. I want to play in Spain, and I want to play for one of the biggest clubs in the world. I want to follow in the footsteps of Messi, but the team that was calling my name was Manchester United. Manchester United, huh? That's the best people think of me at this point. To be honest, I was a little shocked that that was my best offer, but it was something that I was willing to take into consideration. And for me, would it be the best route for me to become a legend of the game? It was time to, to make a very, very short decision, man. I didn't have much time to think about it. Stay in Manchester or head back and continue my career at Bayern Munich. I would have to compete for the job, but for me, Manchester United just doesn't seem like a good fit. Back to Germany we go. It's time to earn that starting spot. Now with only a few weeks remaining, honestly less than that man, days remaining, before training was set to begin and we were to start the season with Bayern Munich, I wanted to come in the best shape of my life. So every single moment I had to train, I was training before we even started training with Bayern Munich. It was working out in the gym. It was running outside day, night, morning, evening, anytime boys, we were preparing for this moment. Now I knew what I had to do. There were a few players that I had to beat. And one of them goes by the name of Gabriel Jesus. The other goes by the name of Felipe Anderson left wing, and a striker. Two positions that I play, and I felt confident in my ability. So we came to training some of the best shape of our life, boys, and you know, it wasn't the greatest start. I'll tell you that, as you can see right there on the screen, but we worked our way back and she say, I think I may have done enough to impress the manager, hopefully, to at least consider us for that starting position. And the good part about things was that if for whatever reason I wasn't picked and I was shown to be on the second or third team, there's still plenty of time left in the month of August for me to leave. And we ended up leaving training later that week and I was expecting the team sheets to be posted and I never saw them. Instead, I saw my manager who broke the news to me. Would we be playing? Would we be in the second, the third team? Neither of them. Boys, we've done it. We've received the good news that we have been called up to the first team. We're gonna be starting almost every game this season, whether it be left wing, striker, right wing. Boys, I was so excited, man. I just sprinted to my car, sprinted home. I didn't know what to do, but it had paid off. The decision to stay. And now it's time to dominate with Bayern Munich. And it is now time to prove to our manager that we need to be in this position all year long. I mean, we've done enough proving, man. The fact that we weren't automatically picked for the starting job, like when we joined the team, because when we did play last season, you guys know that we just killed it out there, man. Goals, assists, everything. And we were playing at the left wing position. Today, 
we're back at the left wing position this year, and it's going to be interesting to see where we play throughout the season. Striker, left wing, potentially right wing as well. We will find out, but you're going to see the team sheets and see potentially a new addition to the team. I shouldn't even see poten say potentially, man. There is a new addition to the team. Comes in the midfield, and it's, I think, the best midfielder in the game. At this point in the career mode, he's 91 rated. It is Frankie de Jong. We've signed him from Barcelona. Oh my God, this team this season has the chance to be something special. Here is what the squad looks like. I'm starting at left wing. Gabriel Jesus up front, followed by Nabry over there at the right mid, uh, right wing position. And then yeah, Frankie de Jong in the middle. We also got Verratti back there. This Bayern Munich team's insane and it's time to pick off where we left off last season hopefully by making a run in the champions league we lost in the final to barca last year our goal this year is to win it with Bayern munich and this is what you like to see man if we can perform like this all year i mean the cross and it's a good thing i was starting in this one man and it's not even gabriel jesus in the middle it's not even one of our midfielders it's davinson freaking sanchez the colombian Puts it in with that hairdo too, man. Oh my, nice shot though, man, with his head. Curl on that, the bend, the dip, I should say. Nice spin, putting it up and over the keeper. And literally, it, it, it's just perfect, man. Beautiful header. Not much else you could say about that. And we were not done there. Another chance would follow. And this is something that I just need to work on. I take a lot of long shots in this career mode, as you probably will have known if you've been watching. And for whatever reason, I can't master that dip, man. I know you could do it on free kicks, and I know it's possible to do it on normal shots, but like every time, man, the ball just keeps rising. I can never hit it in the right spot where I put any sort of curl dip on it. It's always just rising. I, I need to get better at my shooting, boys. Maybe it's just my finishing stat isn't high enough, but one thing I have been decent at is shots like this, and the fact that this didn't go in makes me so freaking angry. Would have been probably, I don't know, man. What would you guys have said? If that went in, probably would have been the best goal of my career. And I don't think I could have shot that one any more perfect. It was going for that upper 90, that top right corner. And um, yeah, it's a great save from the keeper. And we're going to go into the halftime break with a score of 1-0. Only 1-0 against Stuttgart right here. We're predicted to be one of the top teams. Actually predicted to be the top team in the Bundesliga this year. We won the Bundesliga last year. We won the League Cup. We just came up short in the Champions League. It's time to win us a treble this year. If we can do things like this, man, it's, it's just too easy, man. We're back with an assist in our first game, a goal in our first game. It's our fifth career long shot scored from outside the box. And we're going to get an attribute used. And I believe with that, we're going to go up to an 80, 85, no, 86, maybe 87. We're going to get you guys a look at our rating after this game. But it's just a phenomenal goal. I mean, what more else can you say about this finding the lane and finally a long shot goes in the only long shots that i seem to be scoring are the finesse shots man and those are the ones where i can get some curl but again i just need to get better at you know putting different sort of spins on the ball and whether that be using sort of flick ups to um you know i guess put that like top spin on the ball whatever man i need to get better at my shooting maybe we should just focus on shooting drills only in the next few episodes in terms of training and I guess that's something I could be showing you guys as well. A phenomenal start to the season. A 2-0 win, a goal, and an assist, boys. We're going for it all this year in every competition. So let's rewind a few episodes back when we signed our deal with Nike. As a part of the deal, not only were they paying me, but they gave me a little present. They gave me this thing, and I haven't really been showing you this, but like off camera, man, I've been learning to fly, and it's really just become a hobby for me right now, and I haven't shown it, but I've been kind of separated from the team recently, flying to different things, such as games in Germany. It's just so much quicker, it's peaceful, I love being in the sky, and this this chopper, man, is so sick. Like, what a gift from Nike, and um, yeah, something I haven't been showing you, but it's something I'm gonna be including a lot more at least this season and in future episodes is just more fun storylines man you know they don't always have to be realistic yes i know man it, it isn't realistic for like a footballer to be doing stuff like that but it's a video game isn't it we can do whatever the heck we want so a lot more fun storylines coming 
Check out some of these transfers, though, man. Talk about unrealistic. I mean, wow. We got Alaba, our left back, moving to Leipzig along with Ducore and Acardi and so many other big transfers. I'm just kind of scrolling through fast here, so you're going to have to check out most of these transfers for yourself. But wow, has it been a big window right here. We also pick up Klosterman in deadline day and something that is a bit strange, but he's not on our team anymore. He's gone and he hasn't shown up on the transfer window. Gabriel Jesus is just not on our team anymore. So either maybe a release clause was paid. Maybe he was sold and it's just not showing up. I don't know, but he's gone. And there is our big, big new signing is Frankie de Young. 91 overall i mean wow he's gonna be insane for us this year on our track to winning the treble and um yes boys with that being said can't win the treble without the champions league it's starting back up again you're gonna see our group here in a second and to be fair it's a really easy group once you guys see it yeah i i really don't see us losing this at all i mean lazio valencia they don't really stack up to Bayern Munich. So, hey, man, we're going for it all this year. And I honestly think that we will win every single group game. It shouldn't be too much of a problem at all. So with that being said, let's get into our first group game with quite possibly the easiest matchup we will uh, you know, face in this competition. Here we go, boys, into the game. And, yeah, let's sort of talk about the roster changes. Yes, love the Frankie de Jong addition to the team, but I don't really know how I feel about Gabriel Jesus, Gabriel Jesus leaving, man. My English, I'm just not Englishing today, man. No Gabriel Jesus on the team. And the weirdest thing about that transition, you would think they got rid of him so that I could start every game at striker. But no, I'm not going to show you the starting 11 here, but just trust me when I say this. I'm still at left wing, and you'll never guess who's playing striker. It's 83 rated Thomas Muller. So whether it be the manager just likes me more at the left wing position or what, I don't know. But I hope I can get back to playing striker. I don't mind left wing, but I started this career as a striker. So I'd rather continue that and keep playing as a striker. It's whatever, though. As long as I'm in the starting 11, is fine with me wherever we're playing out on the pitch. Regardless, let's just get back into this one. Like I said earlier, we should be winning every single game in the group stage. We'll see if that actually comes true. And we'll see if I can grab an early goal right here. I was one of the top goal scorers in the Champions League last season. And um, that's going to be the goal this year, especially with me hopefully starting most every game. Yes, I know we are going to be starting every game. But you guys know how we do this series, man. I'm going to sim a lot of the games just because it's just so much better to speed things up. We're in episode 22. We're in the fourth season. If I played every game, we would be literally still in season number one. And look at this, boys. We go on and grab our first Champions League goal of this season. When do you ever see me scoring from a corner? It, it just doesn't happen. And right here is actually a really sick goal, man. Great run. Great cross as well. I don't know who's taking corners for us, but I'm hoping I can do this a lot more this season. I'm just wide open, and I hit it off the post. It finally goes in. The post is never my friend. Anytime I hit the post or crossbar, it always seems to go out. But this one is just absolutely beautiful. And that's like the second um, header we've seen this episode. Both of them scored today. First one, of course, I got the assist on via Sanchez. This one was sick as well. And it's a good start to our Champions League campaign. And us hopefully winning every group stage game. We weren't done there. 25th minute. It's another cross. And this time it's not a header. It's a volley. It's sick, man. Great spin, great cross. I led the runner right there. Far post is Serge Gnabry, the German, putting it in, boys. And that is potentially one of the reasons why my manager kept me over at the left wing instead of moving me back to the striker position. I guess I'm just a lot smaller. I'm not really a target, man. I'm definitely more pace than physical, so maybe it makes sense. Maybe the manager knows what he's doing after all, and... Hopefully, we just get someone better to replace Thomas Muller if I'm just going to be our starting left winger for the rest of the season. And we actually can see the goal. This shocked me a bit. It was a nice one. Yet another cross. Of course, you just find a trend here, boys. FIFA 20, I don't really know what it is because crosses usually don't seem to be OP. But at least in this episode and more often than not, man, the goals we've been seeing have been from crosses. 
yeah especially on my streams too if you guys don't catch my streams link in the description i stream every weekend every thursday friday saturday sunday calf.tv backslash b lancer 48 um yeah i never score cross goals but more recently i have been scoring them. i don't know fifa is just a weird game isn't it man that would do it for the first half good start for us 2-1 but we got some work to do man our opposition looking a bit threatening not really though we got it under control 2-1 good start let's just finish it off here it is on the road so hey you never know what can happen man i've seen crazier things happen we're going for another one right here look at this oh my god why can i not get the dip on it man it just i don't know i don't know it just keeps rising maybe i'm just putting too much power on it maybe i just don't know how to shoot i don't know that was a tough one though ball was kind of just bouncing everywhere and i was just hoping and praying it would go in somehow 80th minute we're still trying to go for another one and is saved yet again. We had the lead, but we knew that our defense probably wasn't going to let another goal go in. Or were they? 88th minute to end the game right here. Oh my God, our keeper comes up big. Wow. Good ending. 92nd minute. It would be all over. And we're walking away with three points in the Champions League. Group's going to be too easy. First win of many. Hopefully... You know, knock on wood, you never know what can happen, man. Football is a very, very crazy sport. We shall see, though. All I know is it's just good to have faith from the manager for once that I'm going to be starting every game, and I, I know I can perform. I just got to keep going out there and doing it every single match. So keeping it up, and it all starts with training. As our next training session was, was cut a bit short, I had to leave a little bit early, but it was for a good reason because I had to step away and take a phone call. I usually don't do this during practice, but the phone call was leading me to the hospital. There was something going on, and don't worry, no one was in trouble, but it's good news for Rafael Ruiz. I had to drop everything. My teammates and manager understood what was going on. I sprinted to my car. I started driving as fast as I could. Do you guys know what's happening in the comments? You should know. If you don't, you'll find out in the next episode. Thank you guys for watching. It should be a fun season number four. And Rafael Ruiz's second season with Bayern Munich. Find out where he's going and find out the good news in the next episode. See you guys then.